Richard Grace, better known as Dick, was born in Morris, Minnesota in 1898. He survived 50 air crashes, most of them intentional. He was and remains Hollywood's premier stunt crash pilot. Though he suffered multiple injuries with over 80 broken bones, including his neck, and unquestionably took more intentional risks than any film stunt pilot of his era, Dick Grace's greatest feat was undoubtedly his own longevity. While the U.S. was entering World War I, Grace got his formal flight training as a Navy aviation cadet in Pensacola, Florida. After a daring and successful attempt to prove to the skeptical Navy training command that a spin was recoverable, Grace was assigned to the Northern Bombing Group near Dunkirk. The young Navy flyer operated British-built DH-9As and the Handley Page bombers on numerous bombing sorties. Following the war, he moved to California and started working at Fox Studios. There, he quickly drifted into stunt work and soon established himself in Hollywood, specializing in crashing airplanes. Some of Grace's earliest stunt work was for Tom Mix in the film Sky High in 1922 and The Forest Ranger in 1923. His stunt work for The Forest Ranger was the first screen effort to capture Grace's flying crashes on film. In 1927, Grace was contracted to do the stunt flying for a movie called Wings. The aerial scenes were filmed with the help of the U.S. Army at Kelly Field in San Antonio, Texas. Grace got to know many Army pilots, including Hap Arnold. During the filming, Grace had many amazing and successful crashes, one of which left him with a broken neck. Though his doctors warned him never to fly stunts again, Grace continued his career throughout the 1930s. When it became obvious the U.S. would enter World War II, Grace wrote to General Hap Arnold, volunteering to join the war effort. He accepted an assignment flight testing P-39s and P-51s and ended up flying B-17s in Europe with the 486th Bomb Group. He was wounded by flak on December 28, 1944 during a bombing mission and made a crash landing back in England. Despite his injuries, he was back on flight duty by January 1945 on his 47th birthday. He authored three books, Squadron of Death in 1929, I Am Still Alive in 1931, and Visibility Unlimited in 1950. After 50 crashes and 80 broken bones, Dick Grace was the only full-time stunt flyer to survive his era. He was a Hollywood legend and military aviation pioneer. We are thrilled to induct Dick Grace into the Minnesota Aviation Hall of Fame.